Hi guys, welcome to BrainMonkey.net. So in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to go about creating your own website or creating a mock-up for your own website. So the first thing you need to know is what are the dimensions of your website. For example, I'm going to go to File New, and I'm going to go to instead of the presets, go to instead of uh, film and video, we're going to go to web. And here are some dimensions: 800 by 600. 1024 by 768, 1152 by 864, and 1280 by 1024, and 1600 by 1200. Now these are some of the most used presets here. So the question is, is this website going to be for tablet people, people with uh, laptops, people with uh, desktop computers? Um, what is the average user going to be, or who is the average user? Who's going to use it, and are you going to need to create a um, a mobile site as well? So before you get started, just think of those things. Um, and what I usually do is use the lowest 800 by 600, um, using a, a internet piece, a, a internet or a net book. Uh, I have found that. Uh, because the resolution on a netbook is only like I think it was 1024 by 768 there are some websites that just don't show up and don't scale well so starting at a smaller area uh, gives you a better um, I'll click OK gives you a, a much better site so with that said you do have less room um, a smaller working area however when you go to look at your site it does scale out so um, so some of the tools that you need to use when you're creating a mock-up in Photoshop is you go to the view and um, some of you might not have these guides right here uh, these are the rulers so you can tell it has like the inches depending on what your settings are you can have uh, the different measurements so if I go and right now rulers are checked so if I press that now your rulers disappear so having the rulers really helps you and what this allows you to do is I'm gonna click on the move tool and you click and drag down and you get these little blue lines these are the guides and you can have them coming in from both sides and then now you can place your your little icons on the side Another thing that you might want to use is you go to view and you go to show and you might want to use a grid. This also helps you sometimes, um, mainly setting up so that things are even and unless that's not what you want. Um, any other way, it's up to you. So I'm going to go to show extras and I think that's pretty much it for these. Um, snap is also a good tool, so snap into the blue guidelines or the grid. So, and then you can also select what you want to snap to, uh, snap to, whether you want it to snap to the grid, guides, layers, and uh, all these things here. All right. So, with those tools done, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my first thing. So, uh, first thing, usually, technically, or most likely most websites when you enter them will have a logo at the top and that logo is called a banner and most of the time it's at the top and to do that so we're gonna go down here to the shapes tool and remember this is just a mock-up so it's not actually your website this is just what the website might look like so these are all kind of like a template area so using this shape tool, um, I created a shape and this will represent my logo. And let's say I didn't want my logo there, the client or whoever you're working with doesn't want the logo there, you can just simply move it over um, before you begin. And don't worry about the background color, that's, that's not a problem, you can do that at the end. Um, so I'm just going to move it back to the center because I like it there. And now I have this ruler here, and I know that, or I'm told that the client wants to have a side navigation bar. 
and not at the top so if you wanted to if your client wanted to they could have a navigation at the top um, some websites have this and some don't some tend to have a navigation bar on the side and some others want it at the top so if I go to the, um, the shape tool and I create this shape and of course you can change the color so if I click on the shape and you go up here to fill you can change the color you want it to be of course you're not going to be using green it's just gonna ruin your site with the gray and the green however if you refine the right uh, image you can probably make it work so I'm gonna go ahead and place this here and it's gonna go ahead and replicate this again and as you can see what I would do is probably set them up so that your menu depending on how many items you have depending on how many items you have then you set it up so that it's even and uh, of course as you go and keep on like making more projects you'll learn continuity and keeping a website um, moving so that your eye goes from one place to the other to the other instead of just um, focusing on one area uh, and this this is just um, something you pick up as you go along alright so with that done if you press T on the keyboard or you press or you click uh, this little guy right here the T this is a tool uh, for text so with that I would click there and then type in home and then you click on the move tool and you can move it over and then you could just redo that for the next ones I'm just gonna do one more so I would just copy and then double click on this and then it gives you the option to type in again and I would be like about most websites have it at home and an about page everything else is uh, usually other things but uh, so we show the client let's say we we have the site and we show the client um, let's just add a couple more fields just because so now I'm going to add a, another box so let's click on the shape tool and I'm going to create a box here and here something's going to go some information and maybe we want a text so some text so you can either click on the new layer which is what I like to do and then click on the text tool and have some text here and there's a what do they call it like a pre like a pre-made text and it's just a bunch of like like just random keyboard stuff and it it is used by a bunch of um, designers and it's just like this kind of thing it's just bunch of like pre-made text but it allows you to see the spacing in one time all right so let's say I take this to the client and they're like oh, it's not bad but can I get a um, a mock-up of what it looks like if I had a side navigation and then you're like um, okay sure why not um, so what I would do or what I would recommend is create a folder and take all your stuff and just stick it in the folder and we'll say mockup one and then you could just copy the entire folder and then with uh, with this bottom one I turn this bottom one off and then you turn the top one off and back on to see and make sure that you're working on the right one I would first turn off this text and the box you can leave that there kind of give you an idea and then I go back to rectangle 2 and let's see alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link these two together and let's see and home so when I go I select both of these and I'll be moving them together so I'll use this edge here from the banner to set where my text will go so right now because the about is be under the rectangle you can't see it but now it's, there you go so same thing with this home here so move these two uh, go and I'll probably
place it a little bit lower. And then move these over. And that's one thing that the um, grid allows you to do is to keep everything nice and neat and organized. And now you can move this ruler over. Now you got yourself your your uh, side navigation bar and I would probably move this rectangle up and over or maybe just up so that it's aligned here and now I have this text here but that's not a problem we can have it down here um, somewhere and you can decide where to align it and then one last thing that we forgot about and I'll just create that now is just the copyright which usually goes down here um, most sites have them some sites actually don't have them but they have them in the uh, the code itself I think it's best to have it um, on the site so when someone goes in there they're like alright so when did they last updated this site and that gives them a good indication of uh, the site when it's being um, or how often it's being updated. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to uh, mock up a website, how to create a website. And of course, before I leave, I'm going to show you how to save these things. So you go to File, Save As. And of course, you have click on Photoshop and you have all these different options. And most of the time, the client is either going to want it in .png, which is the Photoshop, but most of them won't, um, depending on yours. You're going to do JPEGs most often, which is just a regular image. You can send that over the your email, and they'll, they can just click on it. They don't need any special program to open it. Um, PNGs as well, um, you can do the same thing. Uh, PDFs some clients will like uh, big corporations or uh, small businesses will do PDFs they'll be like please send me a, a PDF of your work and what that basically means is that they just want a high resolution um, file that they can view and that's using the PDF viewer either Adobe um, PDF viewer or their own PDF viewer but don't be scared you can save it and export it out um, even if you can you can save it as a JPEG and then you can use a converter uh, online to um, convert a JPEG into a PDF so there you go and before I go just so you know if you click on this shapes tool and you click on custom shapes tool and uh, you also have lines and stuff but you click on custom shapes tool and you go over here to the shapes there are all these shapes that you can use and they're vectors so you can scale them as big as you want or as small as you want and so you can use them to um, create your mock-up so don't be afraid and you can import new ones as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this subscribe like and uh, I'll see you on another one just one more thing before I, I let you guys go um, don't forget to save your mockup as a PSD. So just file, save as, and PSD. If you don't do this, you won't be able to access all your layers the next time you open it. So don't forget that. Alright guys, have an awesome one, and take care.